Hello, I am Nagam Hamad, one of the co-organizers of Wujud Near 2024, the second Arabic named entity recognition shared task. This shared task is a collaboration between Tina Lab team and the UBC team. In this talk, I will provide an overview of the shared task. Before we begin the presentation, I would like to highlight the resources that is available at Sina Lab. You can visit the link that is provided to download all the resources, including named entity dataset. Let me start with the motivation behind our shared task. Arabic NIR has a primary focus on flat structures and a few coarse grained entity types. In this year, in Wujud near 2024, we focused on finely grained Arabic near, which is constructed as flat and distinct entity types and subtypes. This task was based on two datasets, Wujud Fine and Wujud Gaza. We provided the three subtasks based on these datasets. In the first subtask, each token is assigned one tag which is the first high-level tag that is assigned to each token in the listed near dataset. In the second subtask, each token is assigned one or more tag, and each token in the first high-level has one or more subtypes. Both these datasets are closed track, which means that participants are not allowed to use other external datasets, except if the ones that we provided to train their system. And these two subtasks use Wujud Find dataset. While subtask three, based on a new dataset, which is called Wujud Gaza, that is annotated in a flat and listed subtitles and is related to the Israeli war on Gaza. Wujud Find is an extension to the original Wujud Corpus by offering a finely grain entity types that contains 550,000 tokens and annotated with 51 entity types and subtypes. This dataset is split into 70% train set, 10% development set, and 20% test set at the domain level. Wujud Gazam is a new dataset that is contained about 60,000 uh, tokens that is annotated with 51 entity types and subtypes. This dataset is split into 10,000 tokens for development set with 2,000 tokens for each domain and a testing dataset that, that is containing about 50,000 tokens with 10,000 tokens for each domain. We received 43 registration in this shared task with five teams that submitted their results. All the five teams participated in subtask one, while two teams participated in subtask two, and one team participated in subtask three. The participated system that is used in subtask one and two transfer learning approach based on utilizing pre-trained model that is trained on diverse data sources, while in subtask 3, large language model in context learning is used. The individual teams were ranked based on their F1 scores. In subtask 1, the top team achieved 91 F1 score, while the other teams had scores close to the baseline, showing no significant difference. The winning team achieved the high F1 score, while the second and the third teams securing the uh, second place with 90 F1 score, and the and the three teams out and the, these three teams outperformed our baseline. The left two teams are less than the baseline. The winning team outperformed the baseline by two percent. The performance gap between our baseline and the lowest performing is about 33%. In subtask two, 
one of the teams outperformed the baseline. The two teams scored 91 of was score. That is also not significantly different from our baseline. In subtask three, only one team reported their result and scored 73.7 of one score. Wujud find contains limited data for specific dialects, especially Palestinian and Lebanese Arabic. Dialects and domains are not sufficiently addressed in near systems for Arabic. So we have to expand uh, this shared task to include other dialects, which is poses a significant challenge. Thank you very much for listening. Please approach me if you have any questions.